we are going to nail the smoothest tone in music history. I of course mean the iconic guitar tone from the Santana 1999 hit Smooth featuring Rob Thomas. I have listened to some isolated guitar tracks from this song and I think using the HX stump we can absolutely nail that tone. There are two really cool tricks that I use to emulate certain things within that track. So if you stick around you'll get to hear those little tricks and tips that I'm going to show you today. We're starting off with a dual humbucker guitar in the middle position with the tone rolled off just a touch. Be careful when rolling the tone off. You don't want to go too far because we're going to get all the warmth from the amp and the pedals that we're going to use today rather than all from the guitar because we want to retain some of that clarity. So we're starting off with a Mesa Boogie amplifier here. I think it's I think it's based on the Lone Star. By this point, Santana was probably using Dumble Amps, but I know through his career he used a Mesa. It gets us in the ballpark straight away, but it's a little bit bright, so we're going to change the microphone out to a slightly bassier microphone and pull it back just a little bit to get a slightly warmer tone, because Santana is known for that, that warmth in his tone. So we're going to hit the front end with a Tube Screamer. It adds a little bit of gain, but it also adds that kind of creamy smoothness that you expect from this smooth tone. I mean, straight away you can hear that that's kind of getting well within the ballpark. So the first of our tricks today is... If you listen to the isolated guitar track, there are actually two guitar tracks, but on the main guitar track that's present most of the time, you'll notice that at some points a wah is engaged and it adds a little flutter on the wah. Because of that, I think through the majority of this track, he uses a, a wah pedal in a cocked position. It also adds this real kind of harmonic content and you get those almost range master style kind of harmonics popping out as well. As not to overpower the track, we're going to bring the mix down a little bit just so that you get a hint of that harmonic singing but without it overpowering the tone because we still want that warm overdrive that Santana is known for. As I mentioned earlier, there is a subtle second track in the mix. It's a little bit lower down and, and a lot of the time what it'll do is double key bits of the phrases but an octave higher and so we're going to use an Octavia to emulate that. harmonics to sing out and you're getting that boxy mid-range as well which if you listen to the guitar track in isolation it has got that kind of tonal quality to it reverb on the guitar track is a lot more subtle than I recall and listening back to those isolated tracks it's really quite a subdued reverb so we're going to bring the mix back we're going to bring the decay back so it's there but it's not overpowering As we're trying to emulate the actual guitar track that made it into the recording, we're also going to add a gate after everything so that you get that real gated sound. If you want to use this as a guitar sound that you could gig with, you could put the gate before the reverb to get a much more natural sound. As we're trying to emulate the track itself, it has got that really gated sound. So the noise gate is going after everything to emulate that. And 
And there you have as near as damn it to the smooth Santana guitar tone. If you want to see a video about getting some awesome famous guitar tones using a really cheap bit of gear, click on the video showing up now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon here at Pedalboards of Doom.